This video describes the fixture avoidance option, now available as a preview in the Spree. With the Spree, fixture components are not included in the part space, but rather in an external reference file. This helps keep the workspace in the Spree cleaned up and also helps users stay organized while programming. Fixture component awareness has been added to the system to assist in the toolpath calculation of the pocketing cycle. With this capability, there is no longer a need to create any fixture profile or additional geometry to contain the toolpath to a specific area in order to avoid fixture and machine components. This is because with fixture avoidance, the system automatically detects possible collisions with the setup and adapts the toolpath accordingly. This capability also improves the system accuracy for the digital twin. Note that you need to activate the Fixture Collision Avoidance Preview feature to start using it. Navigate to Options, Preview Features, and enable Fixture Collision Avoidance. Fixture Avoidance will be demonstrated on this swing arm part programmed on the Mazak Variaxis i500 machine. At the end of our program, this simple milling part will hang from three tabs of material. This strategy allows access to all profiles along the part so it can be machined in a single holding. However, as you can see, the bottom of the stock is held by a vise, which creates the possibility of collisions while trying to machine the side profile. So particular attention would need to be paid in this area. To machine the side profile, we created a wall feature and applied a pocketing operation. Note in the pocket tab of the pocketing operation, we set the cut outside parameter to yes so that the system removes the stock outside of the part profile. When we show the stock material, you can see that the toolpath created does not leave any material to hold the part. The cutout side parameter does not consider any fixture or machine component for the toolpath calculation. During simulation of the side profile machining and having collision detection turned on, a collision occurs between the tool and the work holding. Without the fixture avoidance awareness, we need to either split faces to break up the overall profile or create extra containment geometry to use as an island feature. Doing so results in a poor user experience because it can be labor intensive to make model alterations. If we make model alterations, they will not be associated back to the stock, so users will be required to start over when a setup change occurs. And finally, users do not have any direct access to the fixture geometry to base alterations. So, to prevent the collision and the poor user experience, edit the corresponding pocketing operation. In the general tab of this pocketing technology page, there is a new collision avoidance section available alongside the parameter avoidance check. By setting avoidance check to fixture, the system will activate fixture and machine component awareness for the operation's toolpath calculation. Validate. Note the toolpath has been readjusted so collisions with the setup will be avoided. The same is needed for the other side of the profile. We enable the avoidance check for the second pocketing operation and validate. Both pocketing toolpaths have been adjusted accordingly with the fixture and machine component awareness. To summarize, with the new fixture avoidance for milling pocketing operations, you can machine all part profiles in a single holding with confidence while having a clean workspace to stay organized. With this system capability, you reduce your programming time while gaining precision for the digital twin. For this version, fixture avoidance is only available for the pocket milling cycle. Stay tuned for the next release, where fixture avoidance will be available for more cycles. Thank you for watching this free product feature video. For more information on this and other Esprit features, refer to the release bulletin and product help.